title of this writing is The Silent Motivator, What You Don't Know. You don't know what you don't know doesn't mean you can't know. What is the driving force behind most of us? My answer is, we don't know. It's why our answers to why questions have so many replies. There's a surplus of notions as to why we do what we do. None of them are likely to be true. In most cases, it's conjecture that we come up with. So how do we get past the assumptions and get in the know? Truth is, I don't know. My best guess is observation of what we think we know. This observation of our knowns sheds a bit more light on them, exposing their cracks. It's in the spaces of the solidity of what we know where we're going to find what we don't know. Now, this is beginning to sound like a Dr. Seuss story to me, so let's see if I can pull a cat out of the hat and be a little less vague. When our positions are solid, we can't learn anything new. There is no room in solidity for expansion. When we observe more closely that which we know, we start to see the porosity of our position. That means there are holes in our argument to stay the way we are. We do what we do without any knowledge of what generates our ideas, beliefs, and behaviors. It's conditioning that happened long ago without our permission or volition. This silent force will remain in control our entire lives until we notice the fissures in our facade. We are not our beliefs. They just form the face we present to the world. We are the creative space between our solid statements. Atomic science tells us that all known things are better than 90% space. And Einstein says that there really isn't any matter. Everything is energy. Yet we remain cemented to the idea that we are rock solid in what we know. Break the silence with observation. It's your passport to know more of what you don't know. All the best. John.